So in this vlogcast, I want to do, I'm going to talk about um, how you use stoichiometric calculations. So this is going to be the first of two vlogcasts, but this will be the basics on how you do this, and then we'll do a sort of more advanced vlogcast on what's called limiting reactants. So this is a typical problem, and I think it's really critical that you read the question multiple times to fully understand it. This is where many students make a mistake, is not really understanding what they're being given and what they're being asked to find. So let's look at this problem. So what you're being asked to find is, what is the mass of oxygen? So we're being asked to find the, the mass of oxygen. So here, if you look at our equation, you'll always be given an equation. And of course, mass is in grams. So that's what you're being asked to find. So what mass of oxygen will be required to react exactly with 96.1 grams of propane? So that's your given. Your given is the grams of propane. Here it is here. And it's going to be 96.1 grams. So how do you go about solving this problem? Well, I think one of the first things I always do is whenever I see grams, I know that I'm going to convert that to moles. And we're also going to be using this equation. So we're going to be using the whole equation, although we're not actually interested in this particular, the way this problem is written, so we're not actually interested in the uh, products here. We're just interested in the two reactants. So this is sort of how we're going to lay it out. It's sometimes called the mole tunnel. It's actually referred to that in some textbooks. So this is how you're going to solve this problem. You have been given the mass of this reactant here. That's what you're given, which is propane. And so whenever you see grams, you automatically need to realize that you're going to turn that mass into moles. So that's going to be part one. So step one is to turn to find out how many moles of propane you have in that mass. So that's the first step. The next step is that you're then going to use the equation. And you're going to use the mole ratio from the equation. So in this particular case, we're trying to find um, the, the mass of the oxygen. So you will use the mole ratio, which in this case happens to be one propane to five oxygens. And so that will give you number of moles of oxygen. So that's going to be part step two. And then lastly, because it's asking for mass, you need to then convert that moles into grams of oxygen. So this is a three-step process. So that's how I, you would break it down. So it's really critical, as I said at the start, that you read the problem. You're going to be given an equation and if you can read the problem and look at the equation, then you can understand where you're starting and where you're ending up and what units your answer needs to be in. So sort of to go over that again, the basically what we're going to do is we've been given a mass in grams. We are going to turn that into moles by dividing the mass by the molar mass. So we're going to need to know the molar mass of propane, which you'll get from your periodic table. That'll give you the moles of propane. We know the molar ratio, which is that one mole of propane needs to react with exactly five moles of oxygen. So if we know the moles of propane, we can then work out the moles of oxygen. And then lastly, we need to convert those moles back into grams or mass. And so here's our little equation here. We know that if we take the number of moles and multiply it by the molar mass of oxygen gas, that'll give us the mass of oxygen gas. So those are the three steps to this process. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, step one, is we're going to convert the mass of the known, which in this case is the propane, to moles of known. So we're going to calculate the molar mass of propane. So you have three carbons multiplied by its mass, which is 12.01, and eight oxygens. And so that comes to a total of 44.11 grams per mole. So that's the molar mass of propane. So we now know the molar mass. We were given the actual mass, and so that's going to allow us to calculate how many moles of propane that is. So I, some people like to use 
the equation like this, but I've sort of laid it out down here using dimensional analysis. So here is our mass of propane, and then here is our molar mass set up over here. So I've put the one mole at the top so that my grams of propane will cancel out, and I'll be left with my answer in moles. And so in this case, you can see that we have 2.18 moles of propane. So that's the end of part one, or step one. Okay, so now we know how much propane we have. So step two is to use the molar ratio from the balanced equation, which is here. So here's our balanced equation. And you can see that the ratio is one mole of propane will produce, and this is not right here, it should be five, five moles of oxygen gas. The ratio is one to five. So all we need to do then is lay that out using dimensional analysis. So you can see that I've got my 2.1 moles of propane and I'm just going to multiply it actually by five. But the way I've laid it out is I've got moles of propane here, moles of propane here, so they cancel out and I'll be left with moles of oxygen. So that gives me 10.9 moles of, once again another error here, of oxygen. That's how much oxygen I'm going to produce. So that's the end of step two. So our last step is to now convert those moles of oxygen into grams of oxygen. So that's critical. Remember we, our answer needs to be in grams. So first of all we need to know the molar mass of oxygen. Oxygen in this case is a diatomic molecule so it's going to be, why has it got a three here? My goodness. It should be two times 16, which gives us 32 grams per mole. So we're going to take the moles of oxygen, and we are going to, in dimensional analysis, um, you'll see that there are 32 grams of oxygen in one mole. So moles of oxygen will cancel out. So it's going to be 10.9 times 32, which comes to a 349, oh, another mistake, grams of oxygen. So to summarize this whole process, um, I've laid it out here using sort of dimensional analysis. So remember, we started off with a certain number of grams of propane, and we were trying to find our grams of oxygen at the end. And so what we did, the first portion is to convert the grams to moles. So that is actually what is happening right in this part of the dimensional analysis. Okay, you are basically dividing the mass by the molar mass to get the moles of propane. Then from the chemical, balanced chemical equation, you are finding the number of moles of oxygen by using the ratio, the molar ratio from the equation. And then the last part is that you are then converting that moles of oxygen into grams of oxygen by multiplying the number of moles of oxygen by the molar mass of oxygen. Hopefully that makes sense. These problems can be a little tricky, but I think it's critical that you really read the problem carefully so you understand exactly what you've been given and what you're trying to find out. Use your balanced equation and then just work through using this mole tunnel process. Okay, good luck.